Well, me and my wife had a quiet Easter Sunday yesterday. Um, I was thinking about like the middle 60s and early 70s. I uh, used to go to my aunt's house and uh, my fa on my father's side and my father had four brothers and two sisters and they all had three or f five kids each. So when we got together, she had a big house when we got we all got together in the basement. Uh, there was like over 20 grandchildren. And uh, we used to sit down to eat. We had four or five tables long and it still wasn't enough to uh, fit us all. Well, I miss those days so much. Uh, when I look on Facebook now and I see uh, all my cousins that grown and got married, moved away. Now like some of them are grandparents and then when I see pictures of the family, the kids growing up, I, I have like tears in my eyes. I think about my grandparents and thinking they got to be looking down and seeing how big the family has grown. And I, I think about the kids, the young kids, the, they never had that experience. It's too bad. I'm not saying they're not having a good time now and with their families, but I guarantee it wasn't like that. It's not the way it is now. I mean, it's probably with them now, but not back then. Because the family was all tight-knit. And then it's funny because my grandfather would tell me, he goes, Frankie, you'll see the older you get, it's going to be like this. And I said, like what? He goes, family's going to grow, spread out and you're gonna have less friends and the family members are gonna move far away and it's not gonna be like it is now. And uh, he was he was right on target with that. But anyway, getting back with my wife, uh, watching TV yesterday, um, he were, my wife was kind of tired and uh, I told her, well, you know, the sky is full of chemtrails. I mean, they went ape shit over here in Buckeye, Arizona. I mean, it was so bad, by 5 o'clock in the afternoon, the whole sky was completely covered. It looked overcast. And uh, when we went outside, I told my wife, I said, this whole sky is chemtrails. That's why you feel that way, and I feel a little tired myself, so let's just go back inside. So she, we sat down and watched TV, and uh, she had the remote. I mean, I don't care if I watch TV or not, but we're going through the channels. And we saw on the History Channel they were going to uh, have a documentary on the Sacred Shroud, the burial cloth of our Lord. And I said, wow, that's on next. Let's watch it. And she's like, yeah, let's watch it. So we watched it. And as we were watching it, I had like goosebumps all over me because they were talking about that it's authentic. There's no proof that it's not the burial cloth of our Lord. And I told my wife, I said, wow, I said, this is cool. Um, but I got a funny feeling some retard's gonna come on and say something stupid. And right after that, this guy comes on real quick for like 10 seconds and he had teeth like, he had like teeth like, uh, you know, like Legion, the movie, where they're like skinny and pointy. And when he, he, he said something like, I, I'm not positive, but he said something like, Oh, if you believe in the Shroud, then you're probably a flat earth, you're part of the flat earth society. And then I looked at my wife, my wife looked at me, and she's like, wow, how did you know? I said, I knew it. I knew they were going to say something. I said, it was too good to be true, because it's on TV, and they're definitely going to put a little thing in there, a little Easter egg. And uh, I actually gave the guy like the finger to the TV, I was so mad. But anyway, we watched it, and then if it was over, I was thinking about a whole bunch of things about the Lord and everything, and then I was asking the Lord for a sign. And this is true for my heart, and then I don't know what happened, but I started thinking about, like, you come into this world with nothing, and you leave with nothing. And then I turned to pick up my Bible, and my wife was still sitting there watching TV, and I opened up the Bible, 
and I went to Timothy 1, and then when I looked at this paragraph, I read it, and sure enough, that verse was in there. You come in this world with nothing, and you leave with nothing. And I, my wife looked at me, she goes, what, what's the matter? I said, I just opened the Bible up, and I went right to this verse, babe. And she was like, wow, didn't you talk about that the other day? I said, yeah, I was talking about that the other day, but I was just thinking about it again because I asked the Lord for a sign to, t to tell me that the shroud is real, even though I believe it's real in my heart. But then after, when I, after I read that, I almost fell off the couch. And she was like, wow, that's really weird. And I said, yeah. I said, well, it's the Holy Spirit. Either you got it or you don't. Like the Lord said, either in the book of book of the Lamb or you're not. Well, anyway, I wanted to put that out there real quick. God bless you all, and remember, all things must pass till our Lord appears.